today, right now, we're outside Bosman's Dam High. We've got a client, a pupil here, who I won't disclose for the purpose of, of his protection, who has been charged with six charges. Our organization has summoned six law students from the University of Western Cape, where I also studied, to represent this charge. And if you forget was, that, I will also say you. that the reason why you were in at school in the first place is because had they registered you in those four days, you would have participated. Is this list a list of every child that participates mm. according to them? It is. It is. It's, it's on the last page. He was the last person and they took the list. I told my parents and my parents came to confine with the lawyers here that are going to rep represent me and uh, I'm going to fight the case today of me allegedly using and having code D. The Chamber of Legal Students is not of the view that students should not be punished when they transgress. However, we are of the view that schools and, and high schools should follow all necessary procedures and protocol when disciplining students. Hence why we use the Schools Act to provide free representation at governing bodies of our clients. This is my first case. It's really tough, but we do have a strong team, amazing team. We have a strong case against the school. And our, I know our client stands a good chance to not to succeed with us because we know what we're doing. And at the end of the day, it's all about having him get fed. Yeah. The school Act, the governing I think, body for I think we all need what they do to them. Mm -hmm. Who's supposed to be part of it? Are we ready though, guys? We're adamant that we will walk out of the school with a solid win out of this trial because we've done our homework, we've done our research, and we also have picked up certain mistakes that the school has made procedurally, which we will be submitting today before the school governing body. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. It's the biggest case of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to win it. Yeah. As we walked in, the chairperson of the governing body did seem to undermine our presence quite a lot. He did ask us if he was running a circus, um, which just goes to show that he was undermining our presence. Throughout the whole proceedings though, they were very prejudiced. Yes. They walked in there yes. already knowing that this child is yeah. guilty and they, they didn't expect us. But when a chairperson reacts in the manner as such as, as, that, such as that, that, throughout the whole we've got no choice but to bring our procedural ground. Exactly. We've got no One thing I can say is from the inception of this hearing, we came in and the chairperson of the hearing seemed to not welcome us there. We have to constantly remind them that we are allowed to be here by law. <laughs> I said to him, read the statements. Yeah. He said all of these statements, these five statements, and which in implicate the, the, uh, the student in what happened. We're I was thinking the exact same thing when I this judgment. We're going to appeal because it. This and was it's an gonna... unbiased hearing. They look like they've made up their minds before the hearing even started. They did. The way they dealt with based us on, on if we have... So you did a very good job, but you're fine. Don't worry about it. We'll handle everything. So even if you just do what you need to do. Don't don't step out because now they're gonna be watching you trying to prove themselves right. So you just study, play your sports. Don't worry about the teachers. Just continue with what you're doing. Cool. All right, man.